Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. This is going to be a very short episode. And in fact I'm doing things in a slightly incorrect order, but never mind. Behind me there's a rocket, but we can't see it. Let's go let's go and disassemble and assemble my rocket. You see? I can't get there, but there's definitely a rocket here. Shift right click it. Oh I can't do it that. Can I do it here? No, I can't do it here either. Can I get into it? Hmm. I've seen this before. Tell you what I might do. I might just save and come back again. But in the meantime, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, actually. I have to think about it for a second or two. The, the, one of the things I got, I don't know where I got it from. It might have been a quest reward. Is one of these. It's an ME conversion monitor. It's very much like the um, ME storage monitor except you can do things like lock it up and you can take items out so if i want to take out an item here i just shift just right click it and i've got 56 50, sorry 64 nether stars which is actually quite useful and you're supposed to be able to put it back by uh shift right clicking but it doesn't work and shift does it shift double right clicking i don't know but anyway i can't put them back that way so what i do is i just put them into a chest here and they'll disappear off into the back into here and should come back in a second Unless I've got more with me. No, I haven't. So, that's actually useful. So you'd be able to get your nether stars out if you wanted a few at any one time. And you haven't got anything else. So that's pretty good. Right, now we're going to go to the moon. So let's see if I can figure out how to just... Oops. Without jumping up, that is. What was that? Did a rabbit come into my base? <laughs> Very good. The only way I can think of doing this, solving this problem, is actually let's just quit out, quit out of here and come back in again. But I think that's, that's it. it. Just save the game and reload it, and it's back again. Very funny. So right, off we go. Let's go to the moon. Now oh, I need to select destination. Select destination. I'm on planet list. Lunar. Select. And off we go. Oh, you notice I haven't got my helmet on. I'd better put that on first of all. Let me see our beacons. Nearly there. Takes a few seconds. You know, I don't even know whether I need the anti fog visors in here anyway. So, oh my goodness, it's happened. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Forever Stranded. As you can see, I have now managed to get 0.26 atmospheres on the moon and we have a biome and we have animals and we have lots and lots of activity. So now we're in extreme hills M and the vanilla biomes won't spawn here, but just the non vanilla ones. Let's go and have a look. My goodness, this is amazing. So if I get a bit higher, we might see more of the map. Let's have a look at the map. As you can see, the biome is only a little bit at the moment, but probably spreading out rather rapidly. And we've got another biome south of here. Let's go and have a quick look south and see what we can see. Extreme Hills M. And I believe you get some lag, but it wouldn't be surprising, would it? Jungle Edge. So there we have now a livable moon. And I suppose we're going to get mobs. And those are my rocket there. Oh. I'm going to click that while I'm here. That must have been the one I sent up to do. Uh, put up a satellite into space. I think in the satellite bay, we can soon dismantle this. And then we can break it up. I suppose I'm going to get mobs now on, on the moon, which is uh, going to be interesting. Yep, I can see a mob in the background there. It's a good thing I remembered to put down the uh, mega torch when I was here last time. Isn't that amazing? 
so now we've got grass and this is still working of course I'll let it work a little bit longer because the biomes will change again next time we come back so that is I think an achievement let's go back home Actually, I don't even need my helmet on now, do I? I can take it off. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, I have been reading the, um, I've been reading the manual. Well, the manual. I've been reading some configuration files. And there's something very interesting that I noticed in the configuration files. And I'm going to demonstrate that next. And it's actually quite an easy thing to to do, and it's a very easy thing. Oh, I say easy. It's it's. It basically means you don't have to go to the end to get beer tight. Wait. I wonder if that other rocket's actually re returned. The one that should be over here. I'll have a quick look over here. It'll probably jump around when I do this. Not yet, huh? Should be a rocket here, and it still hasn't come. Never mind. Hopefully it will do some stage. Look at that sky. Well, so, right. Lava generation. What you can do, instead of using... Uh, Beatite from the end, you can use advanced machine structures. Actually, let's wrong place. Let's go down here and see because this is where I'm doing my lava generation at the moment. Crucibles feeding being fed in. Let's just make another hole down here. Two. What we're supposed to be able to do is use a machine structure or an advanced machine structure. Let's just get one of those out of stock. And we want a crucible. Let's see if this makes a difference. Put that into there, that onto there, and then we need, of course, uh, what am I using here? Pressurized fluid conduit, an item conduit. Let's get some item conduit out of here. Actually, I've got it in my backpack, haven't I? Probably need two, and I probably need some fluid conduit as well. So. So let's put that on there. Yes, that connects up there, great. So all that needs to be now is in insert mode. Try again. Let's have a look at the rate it's producing. Yep, yeah, 240 millibuckets per second. How about that then? So I'll just put the uh, fluid conduit on here. Oh, I must have, I must have done that twice then. Why is that green? What am I using here? Sorry, pressurized fluid conduit and ender fluid conduit. Oh, that will well, let's have to remove those two. Let me get my tool out of the box. Ender fluid conduit, fluid conduit, and I haven't got any pressurized fluid conduit in there. I need me a wrench. So let's quickly go and make some fluid conduit. I haven't upgraded to um, 1.9. Because every time I do, I get a crash, so I'm just sort of... Well, I've finished all the quests, so I don't suppose it matters too much. Um, what did I want? I want... Um, ender, I wanted Ender I, don't I? Fluid. So I want this one. Two bits will be fine. So I'll remove this. In fact, the best thing to do here is when I, because this has got two connections onto it, is to scroll mass scroll until you get to the one that actually just shows the one you want, which in this case is that one. 
and you can see that the item conduit is sort of hidden so we can shift right click that off there and that off there and then we can simply put in the fluid conduit on here like that and up here and that hasn't connected so we just need to right click the wrench on here like that and that's connected and then all we need to do is come along here now and set that to be an extract on the fluid always active and then we get a lava so so all you need for that is a little bit of let's have a look at recipe for structured advanced structures it's basically titanium which of course is not that easy to get hold of it's basically titanium rods and titanium um, plates and the recipe for that is that's a bunch of machine structure let's go down here it's this one so basically that's two and a half ingots of titanium you need because each one of those will give you two so that's one two and a half oh sorry and plus four so you need six and a half and that'll give you 16 advanced machine structures which is quite generous I think that recipe has changed I crack it up and maybe not anyway so that's plenty so if you can do it that's the way to do it wow let's go upstairs well as I said this is going to be a fairly short episode only because I actually when I was visiting the moon I discovered that so I thought it was worthwhile doing a quick episode on that and I will come back and I just want to do one or two more bits of rocketry and then that'll probably be the end of the series so until then bye for now